Here we go then. This is the Battle for Podium now. There's the clear. There's Hamilton. There's Verstappen. All together now on track. This video is made possible by the following cuties. You can check out the gear they provide for me in the description below. Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. So what about the F1 race? Christ. <laughs> The race this weekend was probably one of the most exciting that I've watched for a very, very long time. I think it was like a combination of cars just constantly braking and retiring. I think there were, what, like 11 finishes in the end? And of course, the super exciting finale where Twitch streamer Lando Norris just stole further away from Lewis Hamilton right at the last possible second. You know, I've been an F1 fan and a motorsport fan for a long time. And I don't think I've had such a positive reaction to a driver getting a podium as I did with Lando. So yeah, amazing to kind of feel that again after these last few months. Given that the embargo for F1 2020 is lifted today, which you guys have probably figured out by now as the F1 YouTubers are already on the second season of their career mode. So I figured that I would try to replicate Lando's drive, given that I'm a degenerate streamer as well, and see if I could get a podium at Austria. So here is the new menu, I guess, for F1 2020. Uh, I'll be exploring this a bit later on in my stream if you're watching before the stream goes live. If not, I guess tough luck. So we'll go into Grand Prix mode, into the F1 2020 cars, of course, and you'll notice that the Mercedes are still silver. There were like four or five livery changes right before the first race of the season, which basically had Code Masters just self-destructing. Um, so for now, we still have a silver Mercedes, not a black one. The car, of course, we're going to be using is the Macca. Here we are. There is Nando Loris. So difficulty, I'm running at 101%, which might seem a little bit lower than I usually use, but it's really the first time I've done a proper race in this game, so I'm sort of giving myself a little bit of room for error. And I've also turned off qualifying, which means I have no idea where I'm going to start. Hopefully it's somewhere near the front. Right then, so we're starting eight from the grid, which is a fair bit further back than Lando started. And we have Ferraris in front of us, which is wholly unrealistic. So 25% race this, and my goal is to try my best to stick with the guys at the front. The top six have a bit of a performance advantage over the rest of the field. It's not quite really in keeping with how it is in real life right now. So I've got a bit of a task, and I'm going to hustle this McLaren onto a podium. Right then, race start. Let's try and not make a tit out of myself. Build those revs. Five lights are on. And they're off. A little bit high of the revs there, but not a bad getaway regardless. Vettel in front of us going defensive. Butters and Alpham as well. Side by side coming to the T1. Going to try around the outside, maybe. Sneak in there. Overtake button on. Fuel set to rich. Not quite as quick as the Fez in a straight line, so I'm going to duck into the slipstream. And then pull out again as we come up towards... The right hand, I call this T2, it's the second real corner, in my opinion. Good exit, can we outdo Alban, who's right next to us? I've got my overtake button on as well, he's on the outside. I think I've just about got him there. Really holding him on the outside line, not letting him get anywhere near me. A nice place gained, P8 up to P5. That's a really nice start, that. Really good for our goal of the podium. Now I've got Bottas in front. Be careful on that curb on the inside there, it really unsettles the car. I can Push you along a little bit. Oh, second guessing myself as well. Come on, Jimmy. That was a pretty terrible for the middle sector. That allows Alban back on to my rear wing. Leave me alone, Alex. Do not want. Down the hill. Watch out for that curb on the inside. You can run it over a little bit. If you hit it too hard, it just sends you into the wall on the outside, which is not really where I, I want to go, to be honest. DRS will open next lap, so it's my goal, really, to try and stay within DRS range. Of Bottas in front, using my overtake there to try and achieve that. Nice, right, fastest first sector. I've got to be careful with the overtake button because it really properly drains the uh, the ERS, your, your hybrid. So I only use it when you really need to. But it gives you a substantial speed boost. It really does compared to the other cars. So, so we're just outside, well, we're just inside, sorry, DRS range right now. But I'm weak through this middle sector compared to the other cars. So I might lose it through here. Yeah, you see that bouncing on entry. The gap is hovering around the second right now. I'm going to go into Rich Mix and just try and make sure I stay there. If I have a good a couple of last corners, I might stay within the one second margin. Oh, a bit wide there, but you know what? Forgive me. Oh, just outside it. It's okay. Overtake button on, but I haven't got DRS. The guys in front do, so I'm going to use overtake to sort of pretend I have and stay with them. If I can get a good braking zone here, I should get it down towards the bottom of the hill here. Easy out of there. There you go, nice. In DRS, so we'll put the rich on as well. And this is where I kind of want to be for now, until the pit stops, within DRS range, so I can get dragged along on the straights. 
and just try and stay with them a little bit more as the tyres go off. But doing that is not going to help. Thing is, that Red Bull behind is really damn quick of having to really push this Macca in order to be anywhere near where I am now. I've got to be careful with track limits though because I do have, I have it on regular. But if I start taking a mix like that, I am going to get slapped. Albert's going to have DRS behind me. I won't have DRS or Bottas in front unless I have a really good first corner, which I do not. Being very wary of that overtake, I don't want to use too much of it because you just drain it and you find yourself when you need it, you don't have anything. Right now I can sort of get by without it. Second gear on exit, then third gear. Try and get that traction down and again, just missing out on DRS, just. Tell you what, I do enjoy how this game feels from this perspective so far. One of the weird sliding that happened in 2019. It seems to get slightly better each year. I've only played a, you know, maybe about an hour of it really so far like this, but definitely enjoying it more than the driving in last year's game. Just haven't quite figured out the ERS and stuff yet. Damn it. See, I just, I'm just outside it. I gain back all my time on the straights, but then of course I lose it all going for this middle sector. Trying to be a bit more aggressive on the exit there. I didn't lose as much time, but still losing time. Oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Careful, 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 careful. One big mistake, and you just lose any chance of running with these guys at the front. Oh, God. Oh, Jimmy. Two stabs are turning in there. Why not? Come on, little Macca. A little bit of oversteer there on exit. I got a bit aggressive on the throttle, just touching that kerb. You can sort of run that kerb a little bit on the outside there. But you have to mount it the right way. I realise how sexy that sounds, but that's how it's got to be. I'm definitely dragging out with me. Vettel was falling off though. Vettel's down to um, P7 and just falling right off the back of all of us. So rip Vettel. Come on now. I'm starting to fall back a little bit. And the problem is when I fall back, I fall back into a very aggressive Super GT. Which I do not want. Can't deal with each other around today, man. Okay, there's a bit of a squabble now at the front. Go on, guys, have a fight. There you go. They're going side by side. Hamilton on the chair, which means that I'm going to hopefully have DRS now. Damn it, still. This is going to have to be a massive effort to get a podium here, man. It's kind of exciting, though, although there's not been tons and tons of overtakes. It's kind of nice to have this pressure, you know, of having to drive as well as I can, which isn't very well, I, I know, but, but to stay with these guys for even for a chance of it. But, you know, I'm in no rush. I feel like I could get onto the back of them properly if I use a bit more ERS. But right now, I'm just saving that. I'm saving that for when I definitely need it. Same way Lando did at the end of the race this weekend, which was beautiful, by the way. I implore you to watch that final lap. Speaking of, I'll take that DRS. Thank you very much. Oh, yellow flag. Bottas is out. Okay, Too many curves for Bottas, and he's out. We're up to P4. The drama. I love it. And now we have a chance of getting that podium. We're in a good place here, it's a good place to be, just in the slipstream range, in the draft range, just not having to try especially hard in the straights. Although that 10 or so is when we're going to be changing over to that medium compound tyre. These soft tyres go for quite a while. We could try an undercut, though I would be sacrificing DRS, so might not be worth it. I can try to balance this rich mix as much as I can. I know I've put quite a bit of fuel in the car, so I've got a bit to play with, but again, I want to be in the... Well, I do need it, I want to be able to use it. Just using it to maintain the gap right now. So when do I pit? I guess I'll pit when these guys in front pit, I suppose. I just don't want to lose DRS. If I lose it, then that's pretty much me done. Right, some information on Hamilton. They have an issue with their car. Oh, no way, the Mercedes! No way! Couldn't write this stuff, man. So they've got the uh, gearbox issue, it seems. So it should be sitting ducks for us. Max is slow. Not slow enough, though. Going defensive down the hill here. That'll slow us both down. Come on, mate. I wasn't going to overtake you. Oh, God. Careful, those rear tyres, Jimmy. This has been a really fun race so far. I hope you guys have been enjoying it, too. Having that virtual mirror is actually super handy. I only took them 10 years. Boxer slap. Just made it in there. Right, medium tyres going on. Go! 
Ah, oh, damn it. Messed up the bloody clutch on the exit there. Had to wait for these guys on the exit too. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for danger. So I'm going to have to use my overtake on the way up. So bumpy on exit. Got DRS, got boost. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get past Kivy out as soon as we can. I was defending. Do, don't do that. Don't ruin this for me. Out the way, Torpedo. Let's go. Chase him down. I'm trying to remember what all my buttons do. It's so difficult when they're just listed as numbers, of course. It's the downside of using a custom wheel. All right, come on. We've really got to get onto the back of these guys. They're fighting a bit. That's good for me. Here we go, then. This is the Battle of Podium now. There's Leclerc. There's Hamilton. There's Verstappen. All together now on track. Oh, there's Alvin too! Oh, man! Here we are, past Hamilton. Just about! He's on the inside, Alvin on the outside! <laughs> no, please! Come on! And we're on the podium! Run! Run away! DRS open! Okay. A few laps to go now. We're in a good place. Let's just try and keep where we are! <laughs> oh, my word! This race has been stressful, man. They've all got fresh tyres. I'm not quite as quick for this middle sector, so I've got to just try and hang on now. It's the opposite. I've got Hamilton bearing down on me, not the other way around. Got to be careful with this overtake button, man. I've, I'm getting a bit greedy with it. Nice. A little bit wide and exit, but don't worry about it. Use that DRS. Keep the one second gap. It's working out okay so far. Oh, wrecking Carlos. And oh, man, Albert and Hamilton are fighting. They're going to take each other out big time, man. I'm calling it now. I might be able to win this. Don't know. We'll see. I'm going to save that overtake. I think if we use it in the right place, if I can stay around this distance away from these guys, there's a good chance. I've got to just be good for this section. This is where I'm losing all my time. You can see the exit so much better than mine. So much better. Got a bit of fuel to use, actually. So I've got to make sure I'm actually using that instead of just keeping it in the tank. There's no point finishing the race with more fuel than I need to. Very nice down the bottom there. Good run. Will Verstappen have a go at the clear? Oh, go on, fight. This could be me. This could be me. How much? Uh, not enough boost yet. Not enough. Or do we? Just a tiny bit. Just to get us in contention. No, don't think about it yet. Don't get greedy. Got time. I've got time. You know what? The clear slow. I've got to go for it. We're by. We're by. Just after P2. Nice work. That brings you up the place. This has been a great race so far, man. I've really been enjoying this. Oh no. That was slow through there, though. Just DRS. Just have it still. Come on. Too aggressive. Come on, Jimmy. Few laps left now. Just doing my best to get the traction into these corners here. You can hear the car fighting it though. And Verstappen's starting to put away a bit. Can't allow that. I've got to be quick for these last two corners here. Get that DRS back. Oh, I didn't quite get it very close though. Fastest sector three of the entire race. I'm back in DRS again. It's going to be a fight to the line now between me and Verstappen. We've dropped uh, Charlie behind. Come on. He's a lot better on exit than I am, so that's sort of what's keeping him ahead, even with the DRS and whatnot now. I'm saving. I'm going to save my um, my overtake for the last lap, I think. Get, don't give him a chance to respond. But so long as I can keep within the DRS range, we could be good. Come on. Oh, this is tense, man. Screw it, I think I'm close enough. No, I'm not. Damn it. Bad exit. Oh, I should have used it there, man. I had the run. I might still have the run now. Damn it, not quite. Not quite. Go on, go, go. I should have used it. I thought I won't use it. I'm not close enough. This might be a downhill, though. Oh, come on. Good oh, God damn it, come on! 
I should be giving you some insightful commentary, but it's just me shouting right now. Oh, another dirt, yeah. That's bad. We've only got two laps of fuel left. That's going to be all or nothing, man. We're going to reach to the end now. Last lap coming up. It's a bit of overtake to get us into place. This is going to have to be it. Here we go. DRS and overtake on. Oh, it's not even a competition. See you later, mate. Turn that overtake off so I can use a bit coming out of this next corner here. Because he's going to have DRS this time. There it is. Come on, Lando. This is ours, mate. Just waiting to bounce to that ERS. Found the right moment for it. Almost did it without a lap before, but... Here we go. This is where they're going to come back at me, so it's not over yet. This is where I'm slow compared to those AI. But they're going to have a face full of dirty air now. Come on now. Two more corners. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Winner, boys! Fantastic Easy! Just fantastic. Easy! That was a lot of fun, man. Christ, I really got into that. I don't know if you could tell. And driver of the day! That's right. Easy game. There you go, then, guys. Two better than Lando. We managed to just about take the win there. That was a really fun race. I genuinely enjoyed that. F1 2020 is a lot of fun to drive it turns out. Definitely got to get used to managing that boost button a bit and the DRS. actually quite a lot to do still on the win. My brain wasn't quite there, but otherwise, yeah, a ton of fun and really good to be able to replicate Lando's podium. But yeah, guys, that's it. I very much hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Had a ton of fun with that video. If you did enjoy it, then make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe as well. And if you do subscribe, I would say hit that bell notification icon because YouTube I mean, when it feels like it, it might show you a video. With that bell icon, you should be notified of every new release. Thank you so much, as always, to my patrons and to my sponsors and for Codemasters for giving this game a little bit early. Take care, have an awesome day, and I'll see you all next time.